Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Step Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So, I just startled my dog, so we're going to go ahead and move on with this. <laughs> He's okay, puppy. He's on my bed, looking at me funny. Anyway, so, last time we went and we tore up the fiends of uh, Fort Condor, we saved the Condor who died in a blaze of fiery glory, and, uh... Yeah, we got the Phoenix Materia, and now we're going to go back to see Cloud and, and Tifa and see how they're hanging in. You know, all the fun stuff. Where'd I park? Oh yeah, that's where I parked. Da -da 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 -da. High wind! Alright. Ba-doom. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. My bug bug is using my work TV today. Sorry. Shh, you're asleep, remember? <laughs> Ah, you done. Ah, you're so cute, puppy. You know. She's finally beginning to look a little tired. I hope she's all right. I know that's not the same voice I've been using for that nurse lady. No change in his condition, yet she stays right by his side. Oh, that's definitely not right. It must be tough on her. If she keeps this up, she's gonna get sick. That's better. Well, anyhow, any, hey, you all look terrible. Thanks. You don't look quite so nice yourself, pretty lady. Why don't you get some rest? Sure, why not? Since you just insulted the way I look, I'm an old grizzled airplane pilot after all. Psst. Give me some of this delicious ginger ale in my stomach. Okay, perfect. Well then, take care. Silence, woman. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, but your friend's condition remains unchanged. My dosage is... You'll have to be patient and wait this out. These things take time. Just like a fine wine, time is of the essence. <laughs> Bad joke. Hi, Tifa. How you doing? It's no use. I don't understand a thing, Cloud. What should I do? What if you never recover for the rest of your life? Uh-oh. Yeah! Looks like she took a tumble. Yeah! Oh, wait. I was supposed to put those back on, wasn't I? Also, that wasn't a very good joke. Ah, my glasses are all crooked. Oh. Ah. That was professional. Coming. They're coming. What'd you say, Cloud? Uh. Hey, what the hell's going on? Yeah, I hate earthquakes. This is bad. This one's big. Yeah, don't say. It's shaking the whole place. Oh, no. It's... What could it be? Jesus. Seizure warning. What's this? The life stream is gushing up from below the surface of the earth. Damn, that's... This is bad. See, what's wrong? But not nothing. You and Cloud can get inside quick. Sure, she'll believe that. But I... Hey, don't worry about a thing. I ain't about to die that easy. Lee. Be careful. Sure thing. Okay, here I go. Watch this. Look at that thing up there. See that guy up there? What a jerk, huh? Just floating around blowing stuff up. Damn, that beep weapon. <clears throat> of all the time to show up. Okay then, come on, you beep. Get your chest out of the way, I can't see. Jerk. Now this is Ultima Weapon. Only thing you really know about this, need to know about this boss fight is, it's not really too much of a boss fight. It's kind of a you fight until he flies away. Then you gotta hunt him down later and kill him again. And again, 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 again. And again. Anyway, back to it. Sense. Quake 2? No! And hey, nuts to your Quake 2. I got some heal too. Jeez, that actually hit pretty hard. Boink! Hey, ya boink! I also have some counterattacks, punk. Couldn't sense. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. What do I got for you? Yeah, Alexander will give us a hand? I think so. Can I mug him? Judgment. 
You guys have seen Alexander before, so I'm probably just gonna go and skip over this. Bridget. Oh, no, he had a curse ring on him? I don't need that, that's for sure. Ultima Beam? No! Ouch. You jerk. Oh, you are a jerk and a half. How dare you kill you if you like that? I um uh, of course you know me, I didn't put the friggin' uh I didn't put Phoenix on, so. What? You're gonna kill you if you just fly off like that? You jerk. I didn't even get to throw dynamite at him. What a freaking what punch him right in the ear. He's got a throat area right here. I'm just gonna pop him right in the throat area. Great. But I got my curse ring, so yay, I now have two of them. You beep! You try and escape! Just a little more and I would have beaten him. Yeah, you don't say. Well, at least the live stream's back to normal. I think I'm finally getting her voice down and I'm gonna lose it again. Damn, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, just kidding. This is bad. The mainstream stream is kicking up. The live stream. Something way bigger than that. Last one's on its way. I can read. No good. Gotta get out of here. But what about Tifa and Cloud? God damn it. Don't have time to worry about anyone other than yourself. Don't you know the stream will blow? Whoa. There's no time to hurry. There's no time. Hurry. Jeez, what is with my reading today? What? Tifa, Cloud, get out of here. Do 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 do. Oh god, the tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Oh, I need to get back to her sudden draw. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere? Hmm, it might be safer to have an open area. Move to an open area. Jesus. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it you get somewhere safe. No, this structure can't take it. Hurry! Yes. Ready, Cloud? We're leaving now. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. What upheaval. Oh, so much destruction. So much de- No, hurry! What Cloud with his big old white eyes there. Mm -hmm. uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. That sucks. Right into the live stream. Uh, they say about that Mako stuff, you get too much of it, you get poisoned. And not the French kind of poison either. For the meaning of that joke, look up the French word for fish. Mm. Where am I? What's happening? I... Where's Cloud? Cloud, where are you? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. Wait a minute. I know nothing about that. No, it's not me. I do never do anything like that. What? We can't understand the words and the beeps going on in your head, lady. No, stop it. Stay back. Somebody help. Please. Cloud, help me. Yeah. This is where things get slightly psychedelic. I like psychedelic. Where am I? Cloud? What is it, Cloud? What is, what is this? 
Is this the inside of your dreams or is it your subconscious? You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try and get the real you back. But where do we start? Uh, choices, choices, choices. Left. I don't know my left from my right, by the way. I'm gonna go right first. <sighs> that starry night at the well. The promise we made back then. What if it, that memory was all a lie? That all you gotta say? Yeah, doof. Well, that was nerve wracking. I almost knocked my whole drink off the table. A sealed up secret wish. Tender feelings that no one can ever know. Fine, I guess I'll go up. Yeah, jerk. The gates of Nibelheim. Five years ago, Sephiroth passed through these gates. And that's how it all started. Yep, guess I had to go north. It connects to Nibelheim? That's right. It's probably best to start from there. Why not start from a memory you both share? Huh? Oh, wait. Never mind, I said that. Spoilers. Ah, uh, you said that already. Stop talking. Let's go have a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy. I'll be here for you. She's so sweet. I feel so bad now. I'm giving all Aerith's attention just so Aerith can die. And then Tifa feeling all lonely and left out and stuff. And she's the one that's always been solid as a rock. Cloud, look. <clears throat> Here's the well. And that's Grandpa's in too. Or Gramps is in. The only truck in town. He's been here since we were little kids, right? This is the Nibelheim you remember, right? It's the same as my Nibelheim. That's why this is our Nibelheim. Hello, shadowy cloud. What's up, dude? Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? Jesus! Sephiroth, you're flashy. I don't like it. <clears throat> How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? So this is the great Sephiroth. My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father? <laughs> but to tell the truth, I thought he was very cold. You don't say. What does it matter? All right, let's go. I remember foreboding about him. Boink. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not gonna hide anything anymore. Jesus! You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. Stop flashing me, Tifa! The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. Run! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wink. <gasps> Who is the black-haired person? You mean that member of Soldier who came with Sephiroth wasn't Cloud? There's nothing I can say. You must find the answer yourself. If you can't, then... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly, little by little, okay? Or we'll just sit on your duff, see if I care. <laughs> Not like I have to go run around solving all the mysteries in your own mind. Hi. You said that already. Alright, uh... 
Window or well? Window or well? Oh well. Nailed it. First try. This starry night at the well and our promises. What if the memory was all just a lie? Huh? Don't worry, Cloud. Don't answer too quickly. Don't hurry, Cloud. Just keep checking all the small emotions and it'll come back slowly, little by little. Right, like the, like the sky that night. The heavens were filled with stars. Almanac. Ah. From the beginning, okay? Forgot how bad this game was for flashing people. Try and remember, Cloud. Boink, boink. I was wearing these clothes. That's you, too. You were so small then. Dude's in a coma, a Mako coma, and you're gonna insult his size? Come on, come on, Tifa. And cute. <laughs> Sephiroth wants it. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Sephiroth once said, Boink. Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this guy? No, you remembered it. The night, that night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the cloud from Nibelheim. But you don't believe in yourself. These memories aren't enough. Nah, uh, sunburn. Cloud, what about your other memories? No, not, not memories. Uh, a memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be mistaken or wrong different from a memory locked deep within your heart that's why it must that's why it must be fake a fake if he could recall up that memory what <laughs> speak words that's it what about some memory that has to do with me if I say something you can't remember it but if you say something and I remember it too then we'll know that's a memory what you're not gonna logic your way out of this one Tifa because your logic is, pfft. I get what you're saying, though. She wants him to trigger a memory that involved the both of them, but she wasn't conscious of. That's him. You're doing it again. Sorry. Talk to me about anything. Some important memory to you. Now, now that you mention it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, someone would notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You. That's who. You. Me? Why? Yeah, we can play coy now. Tifa, did you forget about those days? Look, I... I'm sorry, but what are you talking about? No, it's all right. You were having a hard time back then. You were so busy with your own things, it's only natural you don't remember me then. Then? It's important to me. I hate to say it, but it's a very important memory. Do you want to see it? That's an awkward question. Come on, hurry. He answered it. A sealed up secret wish. Tender memories no one can ever know. Scary, 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 scary. Scary, scary, scary. Ah, you're weird. Hey, I can walk right through you. You have no substance. You're like air. Do you know where this window goes, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. Nobody speaks properly in this world. Hey, Tommy, how's the peeping? 
Oh, this is totally Tifa's room, dude. I recognize that piano. Seared my eye sockets. My room? It was my first time here. Was it? I only used to look up at it from the outside. Duh. Hey, look. Cloud's coming. Think he wants to come in? Was that the first day you came into my room? That's right. We lived right next to each other. But I really didn't know you that well. I've known you since we were children and I always thought we were close. She didn't want to see him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever being in my room. Tifa always used to have her own group. That's right. I thought they were all stupid. Especially that one in the middle. I see those glasses. People who wear glasses are dumb. I'm kidding though, I love glasses. And glasses wearers. Not just glasses, but people who wear glasses too. Oh, that's the way. Awkward. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. It's messed up, dude. But we were children then. I know. I was the stupid one. Good on you, mate. I really wanted to play with everyone, but you never let me in the group. She was Queen B. Queen T. Fa. Then later I started thinking I was different. That I was different from those immature kids. That then maybe... Ah, Shadow Cloud. Shadow Cloud is evil, Cloud. Just maybe they would invite me in. I thought that might happen, so I hung around. I was so prejudiced and weak. <clears throat> that night I asked Tifa to come out to the well. I thought to myself, Tifa would never come, that she hated me. It was so sudden, I was a bit surprised. But, it's true we weren't that close, but after you left town, I really thought about you a lot. Oh, I used to wonder how Cloud was doing. He made an impression that night. I wondered if you were able to get into Soldier. I started reading the newspapers thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll probably be so happy. You're weird. Okay. Huh? That's what I'm thinking. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day... Tifa's mother... day mom died. Oh, jeez, I'm getting all choked up. I want to see my mom. I can't do her any high pitch in that. Sorry, my voice is a little too deep. I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nibel is scary. Many people have died there. And you're a doof. No one cries at that mountain alive. I've done it several times. How about those that died? Did Mama pass through the mountains? I'm going. Y'all can come with if you want, but I know you're scared, especially you in the red hat. He ain't gonna come. Nope. Ha. He didn't give in to peer pressure. He's gonna go on to live a long and a happy life until Sephiroth comes to town and burns it down. Hi, I'm Cloud. Bye. <laughs> hey. Chug, 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 chug. Cloud is so full of himself. So brave. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know why I came out as full of himself, but you know. 
Oh, glasses can't make it. Oh, neither can blue shorts. Buy glasses and blue shorts. No one will remember you. Bet you that beard's broke again. Oh, hey, I can move. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me. I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. Oh, come on. Just fell down the mountain. We both fell off the cliff. Klutzes. But back then, I only scarred my knees, but... <clears throat> like that dude's little mustache. Cloud, why did you bring Tifa to a place like this? Uh, the hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Then I'll feel horrible and you're a jerk for yelling at me. Because I went there to save her life. You mustache. Tifa was in a coma for seven days. A whole week. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blame me. I went out of control. I'd get into fights with anyone. Even Mustache Man. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought, if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could get just get stronger, then Tifa would, would have noticed me. Or would have to notice me. So that was it? Sorry, Cloud. If I had only remembered more clearly what happened, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. That felt weird. But I remember back when you were eight. That's it. Now I know. You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories weren't all made up. Hang in there, Cloud, just a little longer. You've almost found the real you. <clears throat> Let's go back to Nibelheim again. Okay. Boink. <sighs> make me run. And you're solving your freaking brain mysteries and you're going to make me chase you. The truth is right there. We almost have the answer right in the palm of our hands. Hey. Excuse me. This was gonna be a heavy story episode again. I can tell already. I don't have any time to fight anything, except of course Ultimate Weapon. But we won't count that one. Cloud, wait. Where are you going? Tap tap tap. The reactor. Duh. To the reactor, the Mako reactor of five years ago. This is gonna be epic. You're gonna to watch this. this is epic. Epic right here. It's just totally epic. I remember this where Sephiroth is a jerk, a feminine hygiene product, and he goes, he slashes Tifa like that. And this is where Cloud runs in. It's like, oh no, Tifa. Except it wasn't Cloud, was it? No, it was spiky haired, black haired dude. Black haired, black spiky haired dude. Hey, it's Cloud. That's, that's not Cloud, Tifa. It's not, it's not Cloud. Z Zach. Zach. You remembered. Heck yeah, he did. That's Zach. If you ever played Crisis Core, you know who Zach is. Or, you know, this game before. <laughs> so Zach runs in. That's right. It was Zach who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then where were you, Cloud? And then, of course, Zack was no match for Sephiroth. <laughs> Cloud, did you see it all? Yeah, I just saw my buddy get chucked out of a door. Jesus! I saw everything. Yoink. Let me borrow that second. With the flashing lights, man. No hesitation, just shunk. Ah, who, who are you? Mom, Tifa, my town, give it back. I had so much respect for you, I admired you. Just right in the gut, just sword him right there. 
I don't really sort him out. <laughs> Cloud? Yup. That's what happened. Or, sorry, that's what happened. Jeez. <laughs> Judgy. You were there. You were watching me, pervert. Yeah, I remember. Hm. So it was you. Looking out for you. Hey, Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. Jeez, your sword's sticking through your eye, dude. Stop clipping. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. <laughs> Go put your helmet back on. <clears throat> How does it feel? Meh. Nervous, embarrassed, you know. Blah, 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 yes, you don't have a hometown, blah, blah, blah. I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You came. You, you kept your promise. <clears throat> so you really did come when I was in trouble. Heck yeah, I did. Like a boss. Sorry I didn't get there sooner. It's alright, Cloud. Oh, what you at me? <laughs> you just had a giant sword through your gut. Just like you. Walk out of there with your mom's head in your hand. Yeah, that's that's uh, not crazy at all there, Mr. Bates. I mean, Sephiroth. You're disgusting. <laughs> Cloud, kill Sephiroth. He's a jerk. You got it, dude. Sephiroth! Ugh. Yeah, you should probably should just take that one in. Don't push it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, Jesus. Ah, stop wiggling it. It's inside of me. It can't be. Bye, Felicia. Bloop. Ow. Stabbing swords through people, man. What are these crazy people just stabbing swords in each other? Cloud. Then this is goodbye, Tifa. Until we meet again. Ah. Creepy ghost people. Ah. Hmm. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Yes, hurry up and walk. Boink. And boink. And a boink. Crazy cloud up there is gonna come down now? Yeah, he is. And boink. Oh, and boink cloud already. That was not what I meant to say. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah. Uh. 
<clears throat> hey, Cloud, are you dead? Cloud! Ugh, ugh, ugh. Cloud is whole once again. Cloud is a hole once again. I mean, that's, that's not what I meant. Uh, Tifa? Oh, Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? Ain't it? Yeah, Tifa. We finally meet again. You stupid jerk. You had all of us all words sick. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Cloud, are you all right? Voice there. I see. We're in the live stream, aren't we? You can say that. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Tifa. Let's go home. Heavy story episode. Womp. Let's just swim up through the live stream together. Jesus. Hey, look, they found us. Yo, you all right, Tifa? Uh, Barrett, you came back? I... Cloud, where is he? He's right over there. He's stupid. Don't worry about him. He's a tough one. Barrett, I... When I was in the live stream, I saw the real Cloud. I mean, I didn't really find him, Cloud. He found himself. I I know. I shouldn't have doubted. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. Why'd you suddenly go southern? You're supposed to be all Vic. <laughs> People have so many things pent up inside themselves. Yes, sir. So many things they can never forget. Yes, sir. Strange, isn't it? No, it's actually quite normal. Yo, Tifa, snap out of it. Tifa! There was no extra I's or F's, so you know it was just a sudden Tifa! I'm alive! Look at me, I'm back in charge. Hey, everyone, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. Yeah, it's cool, it's what I do. I never was in Soldier. I was never in Soldier. I made up the story about what happened five years ago and my being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory but never made it into Soldier. Soldier, 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 Soldier. I was so ashamed for being weak, so... I was so ashamed of being so weak. Then I heard the story from my friend Zack. And I created an illusion of myself made up of what I had seen in my life of Soldier. And I continued to play the charade as if it were true in Soldier. <clears throat> illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for an illusion. Physically, I'm built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It was just the same procedure they use when creating members of Soldier. Jesus. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. Yeah, we kind of already know this. For better or worse, only the strong can enter. Soldier! It has nothing to do with the Genova reunion. But weak people like me get lost in the whole thing. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. Soldier. The master of my own illusionary world. But I can't remain, remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. Good on you, mate. You're, you're sure messed up, Cloud. <laughs> Thanks, Tifa. That means you ain't no different from before. You don't say, you loud person. By the way, Cloud, what are we going to do now? Don't tell me you're going to leave the ship. I'm the reason meteor, why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. <laughs> Good. That you're going to keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Barrett. 
uh, oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train. There ain't no getting off this train. There ain't no getting off of this train. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Oh, nice stretch. Good stretch. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm Cloud again. I have Cloud and everything. Look, he's Cloud again. Cloud, so much Cloud. Cloud, Cloud, Cloudy Cloud. Yay, Cloud Soldier. All right. Well, on that note. Oh, oh Cloud. Oh, for Christ's sake. I have to go do some. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm really a weak person, so I could really understand how you feel, Cloud. Hey, I'm not weak. Shut up. No one knows when fighting will begin, but let's get ready. Tifa and Vincent. Oh, you're still dead, Yuffie. Stop being dead. That's bad for you. Boink, 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 boink. Plus and Cloud, we're right in the middle of the of the mission for a huge material, right? Yeah. I know it's kind of out of the blue, but Junon has an underwater reactor. As far as I can see, that's the only one left. That's that. Let's go. Thanks for for giving us that information that we didn't already have, because Sid spoiled it in the last episode. You're dope, you weren't even supposed to know about it. Alright, so, I'm... Yes. Oh, I can't triple speed here. Okay, good here. There we go. You there, Sailor Soldier Jim. Thank you for a job well done. Let me see. Thank you. Alright, there we go. I will leave this episode here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, so we got to go take a trip through Cloud's mind and figure out why he's so wacky crazy bonkers, huh? It's always good to know, but more importantly than that, we got the whole team back together again, except for Aerith, who is dead. Sad day. Tear. Tear. Waterfall. Waterfall. But anyway, moving on, we are going next to the underwater reactor in Junon. Those of you who don't know where that is, that's the big place with the big gun on the front. And so, yeah. Tune in next time, right? <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, which was all story-based, go ahead and poke that like button for me. If you feel the need to, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know, all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, tune in next time when we're going to go tackle the underwater reactor. Who knows what sort of special stuff's waiting for us then. If you've seen, if you played this game before, then you already know. But I'm not going to say anything. Because surprises and awesomeness and whatnot. And until then, night. Night.